The reading is taken from Acts, chapter 1, verses 6 to 11. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing upwards towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Welcome to our reflection for the Sunday after Ascension Day. I'm recording this in Old Sodbury Church, just as a reminder of uh, the beauty of our church buildings. I'm hoping to uh, do at least one recording in each of our churches over the coming weeks. Thursday was Ascension Day. Ascension Day is one of the most neglected festivals, I think, of the Christian year. It's never been terribly well observed. I always feel that really I ought to know far more about Ascension Day from a very young age because I went to primary school which actually was uh, the church school of the local parish which, the, which was the parish of the Ascension so I, the primary school I went to in my very early years was uh, in fact the, the uh, Ascension Church of England primary school in Salford and uh, the main thing I remember about Ascension Day was going to solemn high mass in the church when we went into school and then we had the rest of the day off and that's my main memory from a very young age of Ascension Day. But of course Ascension is a very important part of the church's calendar. The, the Ascension of course marks the major change in the ministry of Jesus. For about three years Jesus had been with his disciples teaching and healing and then after the resurrection he had appeared several times to them and the ascension marks the end of the earthly ministry of Jesus and the beginning of his work through the Holy Spirit who was to be sent to empower the church something we remember next Sunday when we celebrate Pentecost. So the Ascension was an event that left the disciples in no doubt that something had changed and that they would have to adapt to a new and very different life. So what did the Ascension mean for them and what does it continue to mean for the church today? Well first of all it shows that the disciples including us are entrusted with God's continuing work in the world and of course by Going back to his Father, it enabled Jesus to send the Holy Spirit to equip and to empower the church for this. The disciples had fulfilled their apprenticeship with Jesus, learning, as so many people do, by watching and gradually stepping out in the presence of a wise and experienced teacher. Now, it's not unlike that very interesting experience which you may have had where you're lying in a hospital bed and you're surrounded on a ward round by a group of medical students under the supervision of a consultant. And going around with Jesus must have been a wonderful experience. However, they were now going to be entrusted with the work of the kingdom and they were going to rely on Jesus continually, but in a very different and an unseen way. And we remind ourselves that we are also called to be part of this work and, the, and ministry. All of us are gifted by God and we all have an important part to play. So through our discipleship and our baptism, God calls all of us to share in the work, the ministry of the church. Ministry is what we are all involved in and our commission to do this comes directly, of course, from Jesus. 
We remember also that the task we are entrusted with is nothing less than taking the Gospel message to all people, something we often refer to as the Great Commission. And sharing the good news of Jesus with all people can involve something as simple as sharing our, our story, our life and our faith journey with others in a very natural and unforced way. And if we think about it, if we've experienced God's love for ourselves, we should want to share this with others. This is the way that the church grows, by passing on the good news. The gospel message does not change, but the way in which we share it and communicate it needs to adapt so that people in our own society can hear, understand and respond. And in our continuing task of proclaiming the message of the Gospel, we're called to be open to the Holy Spirit, showing us new ways, perhaps challenging us to change some of our established ways. Challenging us to move into exploring new things. And as we all know, the last couple of months have led us to a greater openness, for example, in using technology, for example, through our use of Zoom, in our services and meetings or our YouTube videos and as we face up to our task the gospel reading reminds us that Jesus continues to pray for us to bless us to guide us as I read the ascension account again this year at the beginning of Acts of the Apostles I was struck by how strongly Jesus emphasized that the disciples were not to move on beyond Jerusalem until they had received the promised Holy Spirit. Moving forward with what God has called us to do always involves waiting for the Holy Spirit and for his guidance and strength. And so these points about the Ascension and what they mean for us, I hope will be prominent for us as we continue to live as the Church, even though we are living through these unprecedented times and we cannot, for the time being, meet together in our buildings. We are no less the Church, and our mission remains unchanged, as people need the hope and the transformation of the Gospel more than ever. And so as we await our celebration of the coming of the Holy Spirit next Sunday, may we be open to his power and his strength, and may we rejoice that we are part of this great commission that Jesus gives to his church. I'm going to pray the collect for today, the seventh Sunday of Easter, that we also know as the Sunday after Ascension Day. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the Spirit of truth lead you into all truth, give you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and strengthen you to proclaim the word and works of God, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and upon all whom you love this day and always. Amen. Well, once again, thank you very much for watching, and may the Lord bless you into this coming week.